thank you all for joining today's webinar, Infrared Analysis in Marine Products, hosted by Rhea C. and Aubrey is my lake. I'm Genevieve Randall, and I'll be moderating today's webinar. The live broadcast is being, recording, being recorded. All registrants and attendees for the webinar today will receive the recording and a copy of the slides for the next three business days. After the presentation, there will be a Q&A session with the presenters. Dr. Kristen uh, Kirsten Kramer, sorry, will also be on the line to answer audience questions. Submit your questions through the GoToWebinar sidebar menu, type in your question, hit enter on your keyboard, and we will get to your question at the end of the session. All right, Aubrey, you can take it away. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Aubrey Esmaeli. So I am a business development director with Eurofins QTA. Um, just for a little bit of background, QTA actually is quality trait analysis. So that is kind of um, the short verbiage that we use when discussing our business unit. And I'll toss it over to Rhea. Hi, everybody. My name is Rhea Sig. I am a senior business development director with the Orphans QTA. Um, Aubrey is my colleague, and I will we'll be going over this presentation here shortly. And then Kirsten, I don't know if you want to uh, introduce yourself to everyone here quickly. Um, sure. That way they kind of know who you are before we get to Q&A. Sure, my camera's off today, but my name is Kirsten Kramer. I'm the Director of Science and Technology at Eurofins QTA. I specialize in chemometrics and infrared spectroscopy. All right, so we can get going here. Um, just for ease of the broadcast, we are going to stop our webcams, um, but we will turn them back on for the Q&A portion. All right, so um, as Genevieve mentioned, we are going to be going over infrared analysis in marine products. So today we will be we will be reviewing how infrared spectroscopy plays a role in the marine products industry and how Eurofins QTA can help your operations. We will specifically be covering a general Eurofins overview, a brief Eurofins QTA overview, providing an IR demonstration, discussing how IR can be applied within the marine products industry, and then as mentioned, we will be leaving time for questions and answers at the end. For some background, Eurofin Scientific was founded in 1987 by our current group CEO, Gilles Martin. Now, over 30 years later, Eurofins has expanded rapidly across the globe and is considered a global leader in testing. Globally, Eurofins has over 60,000 employees, over 900 laboratories. We are established in 50 countries and perform over 450 million tests annually. Our laboratories across the globe offer a diverse portfolio of testing, and many offer services specific to the marine products industry. This is our global coverage map where we show the current areas Eurofins has locations established. If we do not have an operation in the area you are seeking, we help to facilitate samples arriving at the closest lab, including importing and exporting. However, you will learn with NIR, we have the ability to test anywhere across the globe. Eurofins specializes in services for the marine products industry. At a glance, our global network of ISO 17025 accredited laboratories support a wide array of testing for the seafood industry. These services include pathogen testing, such as salmonella species, listeria species, vibrio, and others process control indicator and spoilage organisms, including aerobic bacteria, yeast and mold, and coliforms, adulteration and authenticity testing, including fish speciation, seafood speciating, ingredient verification, and filth and extraneous matter, contaminants testing, including PCBs, PBBs, dioxins, and more, nutritional and decomposition analysis, including proximates, fatty acid profiles, nutritional labeling, and more, quality parameters such as histamines, heavy metals, and pesticides, shelf life, stability, and rancidity analysis, allergen testing, and of course, infrared spectroscopy for on-site rapid analysis. Eurofins QTA is a business unit within the Eurofins network offering inclusive services for infrared testing. 
QTA provides comprehensive support from project initiation to ongoing production or harvesting. Services include initial calibrations and ongoing model maintenance, instrumentation, data management, and 24-7 technical support. Our team is comprised of five staff PhDs who provide expertise in chemistry, engineering, chemometrics, spectroscopy, and IT. Eurofin's QTA solutions can be applied to a variety of marine products, including but not limited to seafood and aquaculture. Within those categories, we look at solutions for both marine products and byproducts of production. When the light source from the spectrometer is absorbed or reflected, we are able to qualify and quantify certain traits or characteristics about a sample type. Common sample types that utilize the benefits of IR include aquatic plants and algae, fish fillets, surimi, minced fish, fish meal, and fish oils. To get a better understanding of how infrared spectroscopy and the QTA solution can help the marine products industry, we have included a quick two-minute presentation and demonstration. All right, uh, just one second, I'm going to change our presenter. Actually, Aubrey, can you please go to your GoToWebinar panel in the sharing tab? I'm not able to access it right now. Um, and in the show button, hit the drop down and select the video, please. And if someone could just confirm if they are able to see it. Oh. It's loading right now. Okay. Powerful analytics made quick and easy. Eurofin's QTA combines infrared technology, advanced modeling techniques, and a simple user interface to provide detailed results on site in real time. The analysis is non-destructive, reagent-free with no technical expertise required. Eurofin's QTA can analyze a wide variety of organic and inorganic materials such as chemicals, oils, foods, feeds, and ingredients in physical forms, including solids, liquids, suspensions, and pastes. Eurofin's QTA provides clients with a customizable user interface along with our proprietary models. The QTA interface software is downloaded directly on your computer and with one easy login, you have access to our cloud of data. Eurofin's QTA has models available for fish oil, krill oil, fish meal, and other marine products. Today, we are going to demonstrate marine oil analysis. For marine oils and other liquids, sample presentation is best performed in an 8 millimeter cuvette. There are no other preparations required. To run an analysis, place your sample into the cuvette holder on the instrument. Then, select the material type and the category appropriate for the material. Next, Identify your sample by typing in a variety of customizable options. Then confirm your traits of interest are selected. Finally, click Analyze. From there, the QTA system gathers a light spectrum of your sample. The spectrum is then transmitted to the cloud and all results are concurrently calculated in one test cycle. When your sample is finished being analyzed, the results are automatically displayed on the computer screen and saved in a secure cloud database. The entire test cycle is less than 60 seconds, delivering fast, accurate on-site results. Thank you for viewing our demonstration of quality trade analysis. Powerful analytics made quick and easy. If you have a question or need additional information about QTA, please contact us at 1-866-YOUR-QTA or by selecting Contact Us on our website at www.qta.com. Thank you, Aubrey. You can go back to your presentation and carry on the presentation. Thanks. All right, everyone should be able to see the slide deck again, so we can kind of continue forward. All right, so now that you've seen the power behind infrared spectroscopy, we can discuss how IR is a versatile technology that can be used at various stages of marine products processing. IR solutions can be used remotely during processing and refining. 
During today's discussion, in interest of time, we will specifically be going over applications related to fish products and production. One of the benefits to utilizing IR is that while working remotely and or without access to internet, it can be difficult to know the quality of your products. When utilizing infrared spectroscopy, you have the capability to access quick results to allow your teams to make real-time decisions. When operating across multiple fishing vessels, you can harmonize your testing across all sites by utilizing standardized models. By applying infrared technology to your remote sites, you gain the capability to have non-technical personnel run analyses that would otherwise have been performed by traditional chemistry analysis by laboratory technicians. The Eurofins QT instruments are both rugged and portable, meaning that they perform well in varying environments. With the QTA solution, data is easily accessed from anywhere in the world by utilizing our cloud-based portal. With remote access, your teams can easily collaborate and make quick decisions that would affect your downstream processing. For remote testing capabilities, this could largely, oops, excuse me, largely be utilized on fish fillets or other aquatic protein sources. <clears throat> At this stage, commonly requested traits include proximates such as protein, fat, moisture, and ash. The graphs displayed are the comparison of an NIR result against the traditional chemistry method, which we refer to as the reference method. The closer the individual results to the trending line, the more the NIR result is comparable to, to the traditional chemistry result, meaning that we have good correlation. As a note, the models we are displaying are currently utilized Eurofins QTA models and are not all encompassing of the services QTA can offer or what IR can provide or test. With, with each trait displayed on the graphs, we also have provided a statistics summary. Here we have our fish fillets and minced fish run on near infrared spectroscopy. The calibration range is the current range of data for the model used to analyze client samples. Then we have the squared correlation coefficient of the QTA results and method reference results, followed by the uncertainty, which represents one standard deviation between the results and the reference method. Following our fish fillet and minced fish model, we have our statistics summary specific to Surimi, which also includes carbohydrates. Again, not all encompassing, but provides a brief overview to some of the capabilities of infrared spectroscopy. And now I'm gonna toss it over to Rhea to continue. Hi, everyone. All right, <clears throat> so while many of the previous points hold true throughout the marine products processing, infrared spectroscopy can play a vital role in the rapid analysis of incoming ingredients. So when receiving shipments of ingredients, you have the capability to quickly analyze materials such as whole fish, vitamins, bulk oils, and other ingredients based off your production requirements. Ingredient verification allows you to confirm the products are meeting agreed upon specifications, and you can then determine downstream use. As some incoming ingredients are also adultered, IR can help identify common adulterants such as plant oils, animal fats, and other phospholipid sources. During processing of raw ingredients, it is vital that each step of manufacturing process is completed before moving product downstream. With infrared spectroscopy, you could gain the ability of real-time monitoring by having most, if not all, requested traits analyzed by a single sample in two minutes or less. When utilizing a benchtop application as shown in our demo video, you can gain the ability of versatility and can run varying sample types on one instrument. <clears throat> Production facilities with IR can monitor product to ensure reactions or blends are meeting quality expectations, and that product is consistent from lot to lot or batch to batch. Access to rapid results allows you to minimize production downtime, resulting in cost savings. An example of an in-process material could be bulk fish oil. Fish oil has capabilities to be analyzed with both mid and near infrared spectroscopy. Top requested traits utilizing mid-IR are demonstrated in the displayed graphs. Here we have EPA, DHA, total omega-3, and monoglycerides. As with the last set we displayed for fish fillets and minced fish, the closer the individual results to the trending line, the more the NIR results is comparable to traditional chemistry result, meaning we have good correlation. 
Again, these are QTA specific models. Following, we have our statistic summary for mid infrared spectroscopy. Traits such as mono, dye, and triglycerides may be critical to understanding the quality of in process materials before they move on to become finished product. And IR plays a crucial role in the reduction of testing time. As previously mentioned, IR could give you all the displayed results from a single sample in two minutes or less. This means no more waiting on HPLC or GC results for in-process testing. Whether a large operation running 24-7 or a small operation looking to gain better insight on their process, IR can help you save money and time. As mentioned, fish oil can be analyzed by using a benchtop solution, as we just discussed, or by near-IR spectroscopy in inline applications. Displayed, we have the requested traits of EPA, DHA, iodine value, and vitamin D3. Next, we have the statistic summary of fish oil in near IR spectroscopy, which summarizes the previous graphs. When analyzing with near IR, you have the capability to implement inline applications. A probe might be installed into a blending or reaction tank to provide continuous monitoring. With inline applications, customers have the capability to display trending results as data is generated. Inline cap Inline applications also reduce time spent testing as there's no need for operators or technicians to pull samples and run on the instrument. With the QTA inline applications, results can be generated as often as every three minutes, and you can operate multiple probes use, <clears throat> utilizing one instrument or spectrometer. You may also notice on the display table, some results are generated based off calculations from requested traits, thus giving you more results with less testing needed. During marine products production, there are also byproducts generated, including animal feed, such as fish meal, and fertilizers, hydrolyzed proteins, and wax esters that all have potential to be monitored with infrared spectroscopy. Many of these byproducts are then used to generate new or different products, and each can have unique spot in the market. In addition to byproducts, waste is also generated as a direct response to production. Waste control is not only important for cost savings, but IR can help you achieve greener operations. It has been demonstrated IR can arm production facilities to monitor not only their products, but their unusable output. When monitoring waste output, operations can have the knowledge to understand if current processes are effective in generating an end product. For an example of <clears throat> IR testing on byproducts, we will be further discussing fish meal. As an example, during the production of fish oils, leftover materials may then be repurposed to generate fish meal. Proximates such as fat, protein, moisture, and ash are commonly requested traits to be analyzed using IR as they provide information as to the nutritional content of the product. By monitoring the quality of your product with IR, you have the ability to establish the value of your product. As an example, if you have different products with varying nutritional values, you may blend them together to regulate desired protein content. We have then summarized each of those graphs and the table displayed. While IR can be <clears throat> the optimal choice for in-process testing, there may be other factors as to why it is not common among all harvesters and production facilities. First, many operations can have a difficult time deciding what instrument is right for their facility and product types, and there are varieties of vendors out there that each have their benefits. Secondly, is the capital investment with purchasing IR equipment. Purchasing and maintaining IR equipment may take significant planning to incorporate it into budgets and may have unexpected costs. Third is model development and maintenance. While it may seem straightforward that you could compare a spectral result to the traditional chemistry result, it could take years of training to understand how some data may or may not be beneficial to add to a model. After building your model, you also need to maintain your model and take into account seasonal and other environmental changes as these could play a role in how your IR performs. Lastly, troubleshooting. There may be times when it's not clear if there's an issue with the instrumentation providing results or if there's a problem with the product being generated. Overall, IR could take a significant amount of time to build and maintain. With inclusive solution providers such as Eurofin and QTA, we try to help take away those factors so operations can unleash the power of IR. As, previ <clears throat> as previously discussed, IR can come in many different forms. Eurofin's QTA supports all the shown applications. Benchtop solutions can be implemented at remote sites within production facilities or laboratories. They are easily movable and offer versatility. 
Inline applications installed into blending or reaction tanks truly automate your in-process testing. And then field and remote operations can provide results at sea before product even arrives at a processing facility. And lastly is a conveyor system. While not talked about previously, emission head units such as the one shown can be installed over conveyor systems and operate similar to inline application where data is taken on a continuous basis. Model development and maintenance is performed by our teams. In addition to 24 seven technical support and the option to lease or purchase QTA compatible instrumentation. With that, we have concluded our presentation of infrared analysis and marine products, and we'll be moving over to our Q&A session. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna get to questions from our audience. Um, you may continue to submit questions through the questions tab on your GoToWebinar sidebar menu to send in a question. Just type in your question in the questions tab, hit enter on your keyboard, and we'll get to it during this live session. All right, so the first question that we have, uh, what do you guys do if there's a test we want that isn't listed? Uh, I can take that one. So we do what's called a feasibility study. And that means if we don't currently have a calibration built, we can just um, see if it's possible. So we all we would need is the material that you that you are using and the parameters. And then we can do a study to see if IR can do the analysis. And we would have a correlation and the uncertainty and all of that information. And after the feasibility is performed, we would continue to build the model, validate it as needed. Great, thank you. Okay, uh, another question. Uh, can you add tests onto an instrument I already own? I could take this one. So we can work with many vendors. We are not a specific, um, we don't have a specific vendor. Um, we can also work with different instrument types. Um, we can also offer model calibration development packages. Um, we can really customize our solution to take the burden off your team and try to integrate as many current solutions that you already have. Um, really, this is done on a case-by-case -case basis and usually warrants a further conversation. So if you are interested, um, please let us know and we'll gladly set up a call to see if we can help you um, use your current instrumentation. All right, great, thank you. Uh, okay, another question. Um, can I use, can you use one instrument for multiple products, product types like meal and oil? Hi, this is Aubrey, I can take this one. So a lot of the instrumentation, at least that QTA supports, has the ability to test varying sample types. So as I think the question asked was fish meal and fish oil. So we do have instrumentation that can support both product types. You do not have to have the same requested uh, traits either. So each of those can be customized with the solutions we have. Thank you, Aubrey. Okay, we have another question from the audience. Uh, typically, how many samples have to be tested to build a model from scratch? Uh, I can feel that one. It will vary from uh, material to material. And oftentimes we already have a calibration built that contain hundreds or even thousands of samples and are really well-founded, um, built up over several years of data. Uh, but typically 20 samples are required for a feasibility study just to see if IR can do it. And then we suggest maybe 50 to 100 to really get that model, the calibration model strong and reliable. So it, it really doesn't take too long, uh, especially if we already have a calibration, we would just need maybe five to 10 samples of your specific material to check that calibration and make sure if, if there's any adjustments needed. So it's, it's actually quite a quick process to get up and running. Thank you, Dr. Kramer. Our next question from the audience is, while this presentation addresses NIR applications, do you offer similar capabilities in the mid-IR fingerprint region? Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, I'll take that one as well. Um, yeah, mid IR uh, will have a, it uses a different spectral range. Uh, the advantage of near IR is you can do both liquids and solids. So you can do oils or you can do fish meal or fish fillet. For mid IR, that would be used if you only have an oil, a homogeneous oil. And so, but that spectrum in the mid IR range, it tends to be a little more distinctive and like peakier. Um, so that's why we call it a fingerprint region. It can actually, it, it has the power to do more distinguishing of maybe different fish oil types. Um, that would be a better approach to trying to do an adulteration analysis for oils. But that would be the, the only limitation of mid IR is you cannot do solids. So you wouldn't be able to do fish meal, but it's an excellent choice if you only need to do oils. Excellent, thank you. Okay, got another question. Uh, what kind of lab space do you need for this? I can take this one. Um, as far as lab space goes, and I believe we showed it on one of our previous slides, the actual instrumentation does not take up a lot of room and many of many of our instruments are easily movable. Uh, so they take up limited space. You do need a small section next to it for a computer, um, but many of our instruments just operate directly off of a laptop. Um, so very minimal space is required for benchtop instrumentation. All right, it looks like we have uh, one more question here. Uh, can you use this data for product release? I'll go ahead and take this one. <clears throat> so this is um, this is more of an industry driven or business decision, um, and it should be done on a case by case basis based off of what your needs are. Um, I can say that most of our clients use our services um, as a complementary tool to traditional chemistry. And then you can also use this um, on some of your finished products as like a preliminary result to have confidence. Um, but ultimately to use this as an official method would be um, absolutely an independent business decision. Great, thank you, Ria. All right, that's all the questions that we have. Um, if you have, actually we've got one more coming in last minute, here we go. Uh, how does one access information regarding uh, online applications and support. I can take it. So as far as accessing information online um, for online support, if you are discussing or want to discuss specific applications to your products, we can kind of set up one-on-one -on -one calls. All of our information um, is primarily accessed with a cloud-based platform. So in the demonstration video, there was a very quick view of our screen um, and software that we provide, but data can be accessed remotely. So you would actually go to our website, which is www.qta.com, and you can go to our customer portals, and then you would go down to QTA. From there, you can access, you can log into your account and access all of your data remotely. As far as online applications uh, go for that. But if you are looking for more specific information and how it would fit into your processes, feel free to reach out. Our contact information is shown on the Q&A slide here and we can discuss further applications and how it might benefit your operations directly. Thank you, Aubrey. Okay, uh, that's all of our questions that we have. Um, if you have any further questions, um, all the contact information for today's presenters is on your screen right now. Uh, as I said before, today's session was recorded. You will get an email within the next three business days that has a copy of the slides and to the recording of today's uh, presentation. You'll also get um, the, the demonstration video that was used in today's presentation. Um, thank you everyone for joining and thank you to our speakers for your time today. Thank you everyone. We greatly appreciate it and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.